Welcome to Gentle Yoga. Please be sure to always work at your own pace, within your own capacity. Don't overstrain and don't overdo. And we'll get started by just sitting comfortably in a straight back chair. You can use a folding chair if you want to. Close your eyes. And begin to let go of the rest of the world and focus on yourself. Pay attention to your body and notice how each part of your body feels from your head all the way down to your toes. Begin to let go of any tightness or tension you feel. Let your muscles soften. Let your body begin to relax while keeping your back and neck straight. Feel your body breathing. Notice each breath out and each breath in. Feel your body gently moving as you breathe. And feel the air flowing through your nose. And then slowly open your eyes. And we'll do the make a face exercise. Just make all kinds of strange faces. Try to move all the muscles in your face around in every way you can think of. And don't forget your forehead and your eyebrows, your cheeks and your nose, and of course your mouth and jaw. And then let's come to a stop. And we'll do the face massage. So we'll start with the side of our hands, put it at the top and center of your forehead, and use little circles to massage across. And when you get out to the sides of your forehead, bring your hands back to the center a little farther down and massage across. And keep coming down your face this way, always starting at the center, a little farther down each time, and massaging across. Notice how your face feels as you massage it. When you get down to your mouth, massage your mouth and lips as you go across. When you get to the bottom of your face, massage your chin and up along your jaw. And use your thumbs underneath your chin, slide them up right along the underside of your jawbone a few times. Use your thumbs and index fingers around your eyebrows. Smoothing out across your eyebrow area. 
thumbs underneath your eyebrows, index fingers above your eyebrows as you smooth out. And then use your index fingers underneath your eyes and smooth out right along that bone underneath your eyes. And when you're finished, just close your eyes for a moment and notice how your face feels. Let's stretch our arms all the way out to the sides. Bring your arms overhead and stretch toward the ceiling. Clasp your hands, turn your palms up, stretch up and tilt your head and gaze upward. And then release your hands and lean forward and down. And let your whole upper body relax and hang down. First, look up with your head, lift your neck up, and come back up. And once you're up, lean back in your chair and let your head drop back. And then come up. And then be sure you're sitting up straight, and we'll work on our neck. Stretch your chin straight forward, pull it back in. Stretch your chin forward. Pull back in, and again, stretch forward. Pull back in, and relax. And then tilt your head to the side. Let your neck and shoulders relax. Bring your head back up. Tilt your head to the other side and relax. Come up again, down to the first side. Back up to the other side. Bring your head to a normal position and turn your chin towards your shoulder. Bring your head back across, chin toward the other shoulder. Come across toward the first shoulder and back across toward the other shoulder. Bring your head to a normal position and stretch your chin all the way up. And then bring your head down and let your head hang down. And we'll do neck rotations. Roll your head all the way around on your shoulders. Do this in as relaxed a way as you can. Notice how your neck feels as you go around. And the next time your head comes forward, change directions. And the next time your head comes forward, come to a stop and bring your head back to a normal position. And then let's stretch our arms forward and bend your wrists back and forth. Come to a stop. We'll do a side to side movement. And then we'll do rotations in one direction. So just the wrists are rotating. Then change directions. And then come to a stop. Let your hands come down. Make a fist. Stretch your fingers wide apart. Make a fist. Stretch your fingers out. Again, make a fist. Stretch your fingers out. And let your hands relax. Then let's stand up and put your chair out of the way. 
We'll come down onto all fours on our mat. Let's do the cat arch. Arch your back up, let your head drop. Let your back sink down, look up with your head. Push your back up, let your head drop. Let your back sink down, look up with your head. And continue to alternate, bending your spine one way and then the other way. And come to a stop. And we'll do the leg stretch. Slide one foot back along your mat. Lift the leg up. Bring it down and back in. Slide your other foot along the mat. Lift the leg up. Bring it down and back in. And continue to alternate legs. Next time your leg comes down, come to a stop. Lie down on your stomach on your mat. We'll start with the cobra. Right next to the middle of your chest, along your sides. Forehead on the floor. Together in toes pointing back. Bring your nose and your chin forward. Bed neck and your upper back up as high as you can without pushing up with your hands or arms. Let your legs and hips relax. Let your feet relax. Let your feet can thrust out as you lower your back. Come out till it touches the mat. Curl your head under. Take a moment to relax. Slide your arms down along your sides. Make a loose fist with your hands and turn the side of the fist on the floor. Rest your chin on the mat. Lift one of your legs up and bring it down. Lift the other leg up, bring it down. Just continue to alternate, going at your own pace. And then the next time your leg comes down, come to a stop, turn your palms toward the ceiling, and bring your feet about a foot and a half apart from each other. Start with your chin on the mat. First lift your arms up, and then lift both ends of your body up, head, neck, shoulders, legs, and feet. And only stay up as long as feels right for your body. Remember, you can always come down, relax, Go back up again at any time. So work at your own pace. And then the next time you come down, come to a stop. Bring your elbows forward and rest on your elbows. Lift your chest up and curl your head and neck all the way up and back. Let your hips relax. Let your legs and feet relax. And then look straight ahead. Turn your chin toward one of your shoulders. Bring your head back across. Chin toward the other shoulder. Bring your head to a normal position. 
and then relax the rest of the way down to the mat. Let's bring our knees together, push up on tall fours, and sit back in the bowing down position. Just sit all the way back and down and let your body relax. And then you can either slide your elbows close to your knees with your arms forward or you can bring your arms down along your legs with the palms turned up and either way let your body relax And then look up with your head, lift your neck up, and come back up. And once you're up, we'll go ahead and sit down. Stretch your legs wide apart. As wide apart as works for you. We'll start with the easy forward stretch. Just swing one arm around in a big circle. Then the other arm around. Let your torso follow your arm. So the torso goes around in the same circle. And then the next time you come up, come to a stop. Bring your arms to shoulder height. Swing over and down toward one foot. Over and down toward the other foot. Turn your head and look back with the arm that goes behind you. And the next time you come up, come to a stop. Let your arms come down. And then you can keep your feet wide apart. Hands at your sides. Just bring one arm up. Turn the palm up so the palm is facing over your head. And then as you bend to the side, straight to the side, let the other arm slide out and rest on the palm. Keep your arm next to your head as you come up. Let that arm come down. Bring your other arm up. Turn the palm so it's facing over your head. And bend straight to the side as if your back is along a wall as you're bending. Let's come back up. Let your arm come down. And then keep your legs wide apart and just rest your hands on your legs and lean forward and all the way down. And let your upper body relax and hang down. Look up with your head, lift your neck up, and come back up. Turn toward one of your legs and slide down along that leg. You can hold on to the leg, or if you can easily reach the toes, you can hold on to the toes. And again, let everything relax. Keep that leg straight. Don't bend the knees so you can reach your toes. Look up with your head, lift your neck up, and come back up. Turn toward the other leg. Slide down along that leg. Hold on. And then look up with your head, lift your neck up, and come back up. And let's turn sideways on our mat. 
and we'll do the spinal twist next. So bring one foot up over your knee, cup the hand from the opposite side of the body around that upper knee, swing your other arm around in a big circle, rest the palm on the floor, turn your shoulder back and turn your head, look over that back shoulder. Close your eyes if you want to. Just be aware of your body and how it feels. And then let's untwist. And we'll switch to the other side. Other foot up over the knee. Cut the hand around that knee and the other arm around in a circle. Turn your shoulder and your head. And let's untwist and stretch your legs forward and we'll do the head to knee forward bend. Bring one foot up along the inside of the other leg. Start with your back straight. Bring your arms up. Stretch all the way up and lean from your hips forward and down. Again, grab hold of your leg or if you can comfortably reach your foot, you can hold on to the toes. Let your neck relax. Let your head drop all the way down. And then look up with your head. Lift your neck up. Come back up. And let's switch legs. Again, start with your back straight. Bring your arms up. Stretch up. Lean forward and down. Hold on. Let everything relax. up with your head, lift your neck up, come back up, and then bring the soles of your feet together, and we'll do the butterfly, stretching forward with one arm at a time, both hands together like a swimming stroke. Next time you stretch forward, stay stretched forward. Cut your hands over your feet. Let your neck relax. Let your head drop down. First look up with your head, lift your neck up, and come back up. And then stretch your legs forward. Take a moment to bounce your knees. And then we'll lie down on our backs. Bring your knees up to your chest. Lift your feet as high off the floor as your knees are. And keep your feet at that height off the floor as you swing your legs around in a circle. The next time your knees come to your chest, change direction.
And the next time your knees come to your chest, come to a stop, bring your feet down to the floor. Slide one of your legs down along your mat and lift it up toward the ceiling. Let's do ankle bends. Point your toes up, then push your heel up. Bend your ankle back and forth. And then come to a stop. Let's do a side to side movement with the foot like a windshield wiper. And again, come to a stop and do the rotations in one direction. Change direction. And then come to a stop. Clasp your hands behind your leg. Keep your knees straight and bring your forehead towards your knee. If you want more stretch, you can slide your other leg down along your mat. Just keep breathing as you hold your head up. your head down, arms down, keep your legs straight as you lower it. Slide that foot up and the other leg down, bring your other leg toward the ceiling. Start with the ankle bends. And then let's do the side to side movement. And then the rotation. directions and come to a stop and then clasp your hands behind your leg bring your forehead towards your knee if you want to you can slide your other leg down along the mat your head down first, then your arms. Keep your legs straight as you lower it. When your foot reaches the floor, slide both feet up close to your body, about a foot apart from each other, arms along your sides. Press the small of your back flat. And lift your hips as high as you can and push them up toward the ceiling. Just keep your hips pushed up. And then roll your back down. Stretch your arms straight out at shoulder height, palms flat on the floor. Bring your feet about a couple of inches apart from each other and just lean your knees over and down to one side, then back up and over and down to the other side. Go back and forth at your own pace. And then the next time your knees come up, come to a stop. And bring your knees to your chest. Bring them over and down to one side. Turn your head in the opposite direction from your legs. Keep relaxing your feet, your legs, your hips. Both your head and legs up, knees over and down to the other side, and turn your head in the opposite direction. 
Keep relaxing. Both your head and legs up, knees up to your chest. And go to the baby pose. Reach your arms between your knees, over your ankles. Just hold on to your ankles or the outsides of your feet. And let everything relax again. And then bring your knees together and clasp your arms around your legs. Bring your forehead towards your knees. Then bring your head back down. And if you want to, you can gently rock from side to side. And then let's come to a stop. We'll do the knee circles. Either cup the hands over the fronts of the knees or rest the arms on the floor. Draw a circle in the air with your knees. And then change direction. And then come to a stop, bring your feet down to the floor about a foot and a half apart from each other, and we'll do the pelvic circles. Roll and tilt your pelvic area, a circular movement. And then change directions. And then come to a stop, and we'll get ready for the relaxation. You can stay lying down. Bring your palms about 12 inches from your body with the palms turned up. And you can either stretch your legs out straight, or you can bend your knees and lean them together. Once you're lying in position, make sure your spine is straight. Your tailbone all the way up through your neck. Close your eyes. Let your body begin to relax. Soften the top of your head. forehead, your eyebrows, space between your eyebrows, soften your eyes, the muscles around your eyes, cheek, nostrils, 
your mouth and the corners of your mouth. Soften your chin, jaw, your neck, and your throat. Soften your shoulders, upper arms, and lower arms. Soften your hands, your fingers, and your fingertips. When you breathe in, imagine the air flowing all the way down to the tips of your fingers. When you breathe out, imagine the air flowing all the way back up through your arms and out through your nose. Soften your fingertips. Your fingers, soften your hands, lower arms, and upper arms. Soften your shoulders, your chest, your upper back. Soften the area around your waist, your lower back, your hips, your abdomen. Soften your upper legs, lower legs, your feet your toes, when you breathe in, imagine the air flowing all the way down to the tips of your toes, and when you breathe out, imagine the air flowing all the way back up through your body and out through your nose. Soften your toes, your feet, lower legs, and upper legs. Soften your lower back. your hips, your abdomen. Soften the area around your waist, middle of your back, your upper back, your chest, your shoulders, Soften your upper arms, lower arms, your hands, fingers, and your fingertips.
and then relax from your fingertips back up through your arms soften your shoulders your neck and throat soften your jaw chin your mouth nostrils and your cheeks relax your eyes eyebrows and your forehead and relax the top of your head Feel the flow of your breath. Feel your body. Feel the floor underneath you and the air around you. Whenever you feel ready, you can bring your hands up, cup them over your eyes, open your eyes so you're looking into your hands, and watch your hands as you bring them up and away from your face, and then you can stretch if you want to, and sit up when you feel ready. Once you sat up, just sit silently for a moment. Namaste, everyone.